a thread by Comrade Fudge. Let's say for a second the Dems have spent four years preparing the mechanisms to steal the election. Let's say they prepared the 20,000 mail-in votes per state in the states Trump might flip. Let's say they got all that ready. They'll still lose. Why? Strategery. Democrats continue to operate under the thought paradigm that more votes means you win. Even giving a fuck about electoral votes, Democrats still believe if they could just add more votes to the pile, they can win. That's how their electoral fraud works, after all. In every recorded instance they've been caught, they add just enough key votes in certain deep blue areas they have total control over to tip the scales. That's how it works. That's the only way it can work, adding 5,000 votes to a million votes and getting them lost in chaos. But Trump is Batman. Remember what happened to the election fraud commission headed by Pence? The left wouldn't cooperate. They dug in their heels, so the commission said, well, darn, you got us. Then gave everything to the Department of Homeland Security. Whoops. That blue wave the Dems wanted didn't go so blue, did it? They certainly tried and succeeded in a few areas, but they didn't flip the Senate, and their gains in the House were so small the AOC crowd was able to hijack and force a hilariously flawed impeachment as well as the foibles of the Green New Deal. Whoops. But now it definitely won't work. Why? You mean besides Pelosi and Democrat governors annihilating their own legitimacy from orbit, Biden playing despacito over his phone on a mic to try to win over Latinos, picking Kamala Harris as their running mate, BLM shooting cops again, Antifa setting up protest communes that turned into free-for-all shootouts in less than a week, Antifa literally burning down the entire West Coast, BLM blocking the emergency rooms of hospitals, treating the officers they shot, the Dems promising more lockdowns, Biden's lack of campaigning, Biden's campaign surrogates being emotionally unstable and or pedophiles, the NFL tanking themselves with political stances, colleges shutting down and pissing off parents and students alike when they're told no refunds, Biden running from his record, Kamala running faster than Biden away from her record, the enthusiasm gap, the physical campaigning gap, Biden being demented, Biden being unable to function at times even with a teleprompter, no one even giving enough of a fuck to even watch him. Besides all that... Why won't electoral fraud work? Because electoral fraud relies on there being two mountains of votes and then putting just a bit of fake-ass snow on the peak of one mountain to say, this one's taller, so it wins. That's strategy. Strategy loses to strategery. Strategery says, knock the other guy's mountain down and steal his votes. Let's say there are nine Biden voters and 10 Trump voters in an area. The Dems just need to produce two fake votes to win in that area. Let's say two Biden voters go, actually, we're Trump voters. Hmm. Seven Biden voters, 12 Trump voters. With two flips, Dems now have to produce six fakes. Let's say two more go, yeah, but we might get sick and we didn't get absentees, so fuck it. Five Biden voters, 12 Trump voters. The Dems now have to produce eight fake votes to win, four times as many as before, and more than they have actual fucking voters. I'm not doing the hand clap emoji, but I am clapping in you fucking fear porn motherfuckers' faces. They can't do that. They do not have the infrastructure to do it. Fraud on that scale requires astronomically more people than the scale-tipping fraud they actually do. And, like all conspiracies, the number of people required to pull off a fraud of that magnitude makes it impossible for said fraud to remain secret. 
Think about how widespread rumors of just the scale tipping fraud spread like wildfire. Multiply that fourfold. And we're all watching for it. Biden's campaign doesn't even have a ground game. Trump's campaign has a massive ground game. And you think he doesn't have the federal government and poll watchers and lawyers galore all over the goddamn place watching for fraud? Trump has spent four years knocking down the Dems' sandcastle of intersectional votes. Florida Latinos are in open fucking revolt against the Dems and know that they're all pedos. Half of gay men are rebelling against the Dems. Blacks are being driven away from Black Lives Matter. And now, social media giants, the least trusted people in America, are admitting that they're going to help the Dems try to drag this out. It won't work. I want to rewind back to the forgotten ancient times of 20 fucking 17. The Joe Rogan experience. The Alex Jones episode. They, this is from that episode, quote, they, the Dems, tried to steal the election. They pulled out all the stops, but the wave of Trump voters caught them off guard. They flipped a few, but it wasn't enough. That was in 2016. They tried, but couldn't overcome the surprise differential. The Dems stole New Hampshire. This was confirmed. The vote difference between Clinton and Trump was under 1,000. Audits six months later found 2,500 illegal votes from Massachusetts residents who came across state lines to vote for Clinton, taking advantage of lax ID laws. Now the differential is three times larger, maybe four times larger. The primaries in the hallowed, bygone era of less than a fucking year ago, Trump set records for primary turnouts while running uncontested. People turned out just to vote for Trump in a primary. And that's before you factor in Kanye stripping away more votes from the Dems and Bernie or Bust style Dems who stated they'd refuse to support any candidates but the ones they voted for in the primary. Bloomberg.com, Bernie or Bust voters create predicament for Democrats in 2020. How many fake votes will the Dems need to make up the massive fucking differentials? 4 million, 5 million, 10 million, 20 million? How many? Do you think they could get away with before people go, whoa, hold the fuck up? One million? Two? Before they needed a few hundred thousand. To the fear porn advocates. Fuck your fear.